Welcome to another Fresh Service Tips and Tricks. My name is Dino. I am one of the implementers with Flycast Partners, and I'm here today to teach you how to find field IDs for your Fresh Service instance. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to pull your field IDs or key pairs from objects in your Fresh Service instance. This will give you the required field data if you start getting into API calls, uh, advanced functions in the system, or if you're trying to pre-populate data on a service request item. It makes it easier to complete that data, ensuring you have the required fields for your objects. To start out today, we'll start at the dashboard. I want to take you to your inventory and look at assets. Utilizing the simplest method to find the fields of an object, you can go to the URL and you'll see here that I'm on item two. If I add dot JSON to this URL, you'll notice that this converts this to the textual representation of the object. Uh, from here, you can copy this information uh, using your favorite text editor, you can actually format that information to be a little easier to read. Uh, this gives you all items for the Dell monitor, all of the fields, including the level fields. You'll notice as we go through this, the different methods will produce some different values in the different objects. And you also notice that for level fields on assets, you have product information that is a combination of the field name and the product itself. Looking at your service catalog, you can use the JSON method as well. When you edit an item, Remove the edit and add .json. Again, you have full text representation of the object. This allows you to format this and use the key pairs that are defined here for your different applications as you move forward. Method two is to use a web request. Uh, this is more of an intermediate approach, but it's still completed within the Fresh Service application. You'll notice here that I have an API endpoint. Again, we're going to look at the Dell monitor, and this includes the type field so that we get the product information. When you test this web request, it does return the formatted JSON for you. And you'll notice here that instead of level fields, it's called type fields. From here, you can use any of these field descriptors. Again, API calls, pre-populating information on a portal form or service request form if you needed to. Uh, the third method is actually using API calls. Now I'm using Postman. You can use curl, Python, PowerShell, any of the different methods available but this allows you to pull them directly outside of the Fresh Service application, getting the same information and then utilizing it in your different strategies as you look forward. So a simple get request to the object, again, including the type fields, returns my information. You can see this is a Dell monitor. You'll notice here that the, again, these are called type fields and not level fields. Without the correct field IDs, you will be unable to populate this data. Uh, your external applications or configured workflows will generate an error or fail to populate or add the information to the system. Thank you for watching another Fresh Service Tips and Tricks presented by Flycast Partners. If you like our videos and this content, please like and subscribe to always be updated on the latest tips and tricks. And if you need more fresh service help or resources, reach out to Flycast Partners Professional Services at info at flycastpartners.com.